Hello, I'm Tommy. I'm Jimmy. And we are here with the wonderful Gelsey Bell. Hello. Hey, Gelsey. Uh, who do you play in this wonderful show? I play Princess Mary, the opera singer, the maid servant, and then I play like three other unnamed roles in the ensemble. I love members. it. There you go. And all very varied interesting roles, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. It's a, it's yeah, it's a real rainbow. Um so let's kind of get in on Mary and work out uh, I mean, you bless her, you know? She, like she cares, <laughs> she cares so much. She does. Yeah. She wants she really wants to do the right thing. Yeah. Right, exactly. Cuz I think you know, listening to it, I think a lot of people could kind of fob the book on off like, oh, they are the comic relief, that's fine, that's right, what that track yeah. is. But if you really home in, you know, after the, the where are my glasses moment, mm -hmm. and then you have that beautiful, almost realization? Yeah. Would you? Yeah, would totally. That? No, it feels like a, a realization, every yeah. performance. Yeah. yeah. And so what is going through Mary's head at that point? I mean, I think it's really as simple as like taking responsibility for her situation where her father's in a vulnerable state and she has to like take care of him and love him throughout yeah. that yeah. um and it's so i mean it's hard because he's the patriarch he's the one who's supposedly in control mm -hmm. and needs to be in control it feels like he's just totally abusive yeah mm -hmm. but it's not really that simple right um I mean, and you can, when you read the book, you see how he kind of gets worse and worse throughout the course of the book. Right. Um, and of course, like, they didn't have any, like, diagnoses for diseases right. yeah. that happen in people's elder years. So he probably has some sort of dementia or something. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's a realization of, like, I love this person and I'm the person who can take care of them. Yeah, exactly. And so like stuck in the middle, that line, um, you started in duet, I could hurt you, I could hurt you, but I never, ever, ever, ever will. Yeah. Like it, it cuts to the core because yeah. you're right, you're stuck in the middle there. Like I want to help you, but you don't want, you don't know that I'm here to help you yeah. and yeah. Like, trying yeah. to balance all that. Well, and to me, it also feels like one of the, the hard situations about being a woman of that era, mm -hmm. um, where there's just not a sense of being in control of your own destiny. Yeah. Um, and yet, like, you know, not, I mean, I think we see that with Natasha's character much more through in this show. Yeah. But in the book itself, you see that with many of the characters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, and I think in, in one of the rewrites of um, Bokonsky's number, mm -hmm. um, and the time moves on, that, I mean, that, I, th I think that really, again, quite chilling. Yeah. Because it's it's Mary just being like, I, I am stuck, yeah. you know? And that, like you say, is for a woman at that time, that must be... We kind of can't comprehend it. Yeah. Totally. No, I mean, it's, I can't comprehend yeah. it either. Yeah. Oh, God. That how, like, you, here's your box and right. this is where and you And that's it yeah. for the rest of your life. Except Those that. 22 totally. hours every day. I mean, yeah, until until he dies. I mean, that's part, and that's part of, like, the intense thing, too, is, like, I can't wait till my father dies, but I don't want him right. to die. Right. But, I mean, that's, like, just a, that's an existential crisis, yeah. if there ever was yeah, one. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> One of the things that you don't get if you're on the cast album, if you're listening to the cast mm -hmm. album, is um, your relationship with Andre, your brother. Mm, um, yeah. When he comes back. So tell us a bit about, you know, if you're listening to the cast album, what's happening once he's back with the two of you? Totally. I mean, it's in so during the track, um, Pierre and Andre, I, I'm there in the light with them. I'm not, it's not like I'm in the scene with them, but I'm witnessing. I mean, I think that's what a, a, I'm doing a lot of the last part of the show is I'm witnessing everything that is happening right. and and so are other ensemble members I mean there's a lot of there's a lot of back and forth with everyone watching this story happen mm -hmm. but in that scene in particular for Princess Mary watching I'm having a moment where I see my brother come home from war and that's like the fact that he's still alive is so amazing and yeah. I'm so happy um, and then seeing him become heartbroken yeah, exactly. and you know um, yeah, so I, for me, I'm I'm very present watching that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mary's story continues with whatever yeah. happens to her brother. Yeah. <laughs> if if you're listening to the cast album, I mean, you, you will notice the opera. You right. will, yeah. Yes. <laughs> You'll hear it that. Yes. To be noticed. Right. Um, <laughs> and those are your pipes. Oh yeah, totally. Right. Um. So yeah, I mean, for the. 
I've kind of built a career off of singing many different kinds of vocal styles. Right. And I like working with living composers. Amazing. So a lot of the composers I work with are in the classical music or experimental world. Mm -hmm. um, Dave happens to be in the musical theater world. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so I feel like, the, um, yeah, I'm just kind of continuing doing that. I'm, al I'm also just very interested in the voice, so I've mm -hmm. studied a lot of different kinds of techniques, extended vocal techniques, which I use a little bit in the opera within. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I'm just a very curious nerd, and I like to sing, so this yeah. is what has happened. Yeah. No, I mean, we're all nerds here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, this is and that's what we love. Right? I mean, how does it feel? Because the existence of the opera within the show, it, we're kind of poking fun at it to an extent. Oh yeah, totally. But you're, you know, you're in the middle of that. How does that... Well, I mean, it's interesting. So Paul and I, uh, Paul's the other opera singer, we have two bands together. So we make a lot... We make a lot of the kinds of music that we're making fun of right, to a okay. certain extent. I mean, we're hamming it up, let's be real. Right, yeah. <laughs> but it's like any, t I, like I use those kind of vocal techniques in very serious contexts. Yeah. Um, and we are used to making that kind of music together. Yeah. Um, so it feels like, a, and, and Dave has from, I mean, Dave and I have known each other for what, eight or nine years, and he right. has come to many of those concerts. Mm -hmm. So like, he went into it knowing that that's, that's in the wheelhouse. Yeah, right, because exactly. I was wondering, like, what came first, you know, the, or the, the, the voice, so it's the, yeah, it's the voice, and he tuned in, or he honed in on totally, that. Totally, yeah. totally, and we really developed that scene together. It was like, oh, Amazing. why don't I try this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that works. How about we try this? Of like, course, you know. of course. It's, uh, I mean, one of the things I love, and it happens in so many points in the show, but this is totally new. Like, yeah. when do you get something like that in any musical? Yeah. You know? <laughs> any right? musical. Yeah. And that is so... <laughs> Exactly. Or even close to it. We're so outside of, you know. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, one of the first tracks I listened to out of order was the opera, and I was just like, I'm sorry, what? what? <laughs> I'm gonna have to listen to that again. Yeah, we're gonna go back to that. Yeah, um, yeah. it's amazing. So, does that, I mean, does that feel good to know, oh, like, yeah. hey, I'm repping for the experimentalists? No, out it there. feels really good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and it like the the friends of mine from that world that come to the show mm. are always very happy that that's right, there. Okay. And like, you know, the other vocalists that do extended vocal technique are like, yeah, extended vocal technique yeah. on Broadway. Like, you're not doing a crazy amount, but it's just amazing that right. it's there exactly. and it's It's the beginning, yeah. right? Well, and it, totally. and it, it fits. It's not like, here is the shtick of the show that totally. we're incorporating this weird, out of the ordinary thing. It's like, no, it is. it belongs exactly there and it wouldn't be the same show without it. Absolutely. Yeah. So cool. Absolutely. Good. It's so great. Thank you.